Hello, Charles. So today I want to do just a really quick video on this here, which is the Aviator um, Carbon Fiber Wallet. Now, this one here was sent to me by Aviator, and this one is made in Germany. Um, I can feel that it is very nice and high quality, and it's got some interesting features, which I'll show you in more detail in a moment. So some of the interesting things about this wallet in particular are, for me, that it has this little slide out tray here. Now this tray can actually hold coins or SIM cards or other flat items. It's quite shallow, but it is just enough to hold most coins that I've tried in it. So also on the front, you'll see that there is this clip here and that is to hold notes or money. Um, and in this case, I don't have any notes on me, but I do have this old receipt from Thailand and it's kind of similar to a note. Um, but you'll notice that it's quite difficult to get it in there and it's really tight and even when you use your finger to lift it up <laughs> I have found it to be not the easiest uh, ways to store notes for money. Um, now they do include a tool with this and you can unscrew these screws on the back here and you can actually adjust the strength of the elastic by moving it on the inside. There's two notches so you can move it like a little bit wider to make the elastic not as strong and so that could possibly be one way to uh, one solution for um, this slot here being so tight. Now of course I do have several cards in here and you can see you can just pull this tab to uh, release the cards and it's a little bit difficult to access all of the cards say for example you want that middle one you have to kind of fan them out and then grab that card and they kind of slide around uh, and then you just push them back in when you're done. Um, now when this is empty, one of the negative things I have found is, for example, if you're putting one card in like this, you got to make sure to put it in front of this um, tab, because if you put it behind, you're putting it behind the tray, and you notice the edge of the card here has become a bit frayed, because when you do this, even when you open it with your fingers, um, it just is a little bit hard on cards um, from my experience. In general, I actually really like the look of this wallet. And, you know, I guess people have their own styles, whether they prefer, you know, kind of a hard wallet or a money clip or a money uh, elastic band like this one. Um, and for me, I personally really prefer when I'm traveling to have something like this one here, which is the Chums Slim Shorts wallet. Because this is a soft wallet and it has two zipped openings, you can put coins in one side and cards in another. And you can also put keys in this little slot here. And I prefer soft wallets because they conform to your pocket shape and um, they're more comfortable in a pocket, in my opinion. This yellow card here, this is a transport card in Thailand. So say I wanted to tap onto the transport in Thailand and I want to tap that on the terminal any card behind it, which is a bank card, it would try to read all of them and it would say card error. So once, one thing you could do is put a bit of foil between them so it would only read the front card. Um, or you could use something like this RFID blocking material to block the card behind it so that it only reads the front card. But you can see in this case, this RFID sleeve is actually a bit bigger than this wallet. So in that case, it wouldn't work with this wallet, so you'd have to custom make your own. One other solution what I did, typically when I was traveling anyway, is that I would take my transport card and kind of keep it on the outside or separately in my pocket and just grab it out and tap it when I arrived. That's kind of what I did with this one too, I just put the transport card in that pocket. So when I was tapping on and off, I just grabbed it out and tapped it. Of course, another uh, wallet solution you could use is just like a little slim pouch like this one here from a side by side. And um, you could put notes in here and your credit cards and stuff and keep that in there. And that's probably the thinnest solution to a wallet, um, although it's going to be a little bit bigger in your pocket and it's not quite as sleek. So that's pretty much it. Just a quick look at the Aviator wallet here. Now, I do think it's personal preference what kind of wallet you're going to like and what kind of wallet you're going to use. I prefer smaller flatter front pocket wallets like all the ones I have here. And this is one of those kinds of wallets. Um, but I don't tend to prefer wallets that are made of a solid rigid material uh, like this one or even the Ridge wallet which is quite a popular one you'll see advertised on YouTube quite a lot. Um, I do prefer a, a natural kind of leather wallet because it has a little bit of 
give to it or um, this wallet which is softer in your pocket and more comfortable. But I think of course every, every kind of wallet has their place and there's definitely going to be some people that prefer this kind of wallet. So that's it, thanks very much for watching and be sure to uh, let me know in the comments what's your favourite wallet for travelling or just in general and be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.